everything that we do, even down to the simple things of eating, drinking, we think in the doing of those things, we'll feel better. Even going to the bathroom, you're like, I know and believe that the relief that I'll have right now, if I go to the bathroom, I'll feel good. And it proves that everything that you do, you do it because you do think you will feel better, which means our life is all about how we feel. And that feeling and that natural urge to always feel good is the way we are naturally supposed to feel. But if you're not feeling that or good most of the time, then you're living a very unnatural state of being. And if you are feeling that way, it's because you're thinking those thoughts and those thoughts you have the choice to change. And the other day I was sitting there thinking about um, things that I love. I actually listed them in my head and I, it took me about five minutes and I started thinking, oh, my favorite color, oh, I love that color, or oh, I love that car, I love that show, I love her hair, I love that chair, or I love, 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 love. And all of a sudden, after five minutes, I redirected exactly how I was feeling. And I did that on my own accord, changed exactly how I felt. And that's the easiest way to change how you are living and how to live a natural life. Because naturally, our job and our purpose here is to love and experience joy. So I was sitting here thinking about playing Super Mario as a kid. I don't know if you remember playing that, but I used to love playing that. And I always remember the little piranha plants that would jump out of the pipe and like eat you. And I got to thinking, you know, it'd be kind of unnatural to see something that gnarly and mean growing out in nature, wouldn't it? And it's getting close to Halloween, so I thought, wouldn't that be a fun project and creepy to create and put it by your front door? And also as a reminder that it's unnatural to actually feel negative emotion because we know the negative emotion simply tells us what we do want. We know we don't want that, so it's simply an indicator. And when you choose what you do love, you'll realize that the reason why you had the negative emotion from the beginning was simply so you could know how it feels to live naturally and to love. So today we're gonna create a piranha plant manny little monster for Halloween. And we're gonna get started on that and I'll show you how natural it is to love what you're doing. To get started with our piranha plant monster, I'm actually going to take some chicken wire and actually sculpted it to look like its mouth. And you're basically going to take just some chicken wire and make like like a, a, an eight shape or like two eggs and pinch it in the middle like it would be the back of a mouth. And I've kind of shaped it up where it looks kind of gnarly, doesn't have to be perfect. I got one of those wrought iron plant hooks that you can usually put on the side of your porch. And I'm going to actually wire it kind of like this with my my sculpture using chicken wire so it kind of lays that like he's like opening his mouth and then i'm going to actually put it in a pvc pipe and a flower pot got an old flower pot and filled it with dirt and i stuck a uh, about an inch wide pvc pipe in it and kind of got it packed down good and then i'm going to stick my plant in the top part so it looks like he's laying it. so now i've got some like cheap spider web and i'm going to actually wrap the skin of the chicken wire with it and it's going to act like you know a plant skin and once you get it pretty much covered then i'll show you how this is going to really look real Okay, next, I'm gonna use some like that Christmas stuff that you see, it. you can see it at Dollar Tree, but it's like, I guess for a tree skirt, but it's kind of like batting and it, it, it'll tear really easily. And I'm gonna use that as the innards of his mouth. So it looks a little more fleshy, like a tongue, and you just kind of cut it or tear it, and you're just gonna kind of lay it inside there so it looks kind of like, you know, you'd see your mouth would look like. We're gonna take the rest of this batting, kind of tear it, and wrap it around the neck and thicken it so it looks like it's a plant stem. Okay, to make my piranha plant look like a piranha, 
I'm gonna use these little Halloween finger, uh, witch fingers you can put on like for Halloween. And I'm actually just gonna wire them like his teeth. And then I'm gonna spray all that green along with his body. So watch how spooky he looks. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a gnarly little tongue. And I'm using red um, pipe cleaner twisty ties. And I'm just gonna kind of twist them all together so it kind of looks like a squirrely little tongue. And once you get your tongue shape, you're just gonna wire it inside his mouth there. Okay, so I'm gonna add some um, cardboard giant leaves kind of at the bottom, and you may need to paint the both, both sides, but I'm gonna kind of stick them in like that to make them look realistic. So remember, your natural state of being is to feel love and to feel good. And anything else would be simply unnatural. So, thanks so much for watching and bye.